fat. Just the word itself can make us cringe and conjure up a whole host of unflattering images. You know, for years, we've been led to believe that fat is bad and that if we eat fat, we get fat. Well, I've spent my career digging into the latest discoveries in science and nutrition and telling the truth about them and making them practical. And one of the most important things that I've discovered is that we have the whole story wrong when it comes to fat. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Hyman, the director of the Cleveland Clinic Center for Functional Medicine, chairman of the Institute for Functional Medicine, and New York Times bestselling author. And I'm here to set the record straight about fat. For decades now, we've been told two big lies about fat. First, we've been told that eating fat makes us fat. And second, that eating fat, especially saturated fat, causes heart disease. These statements could not be further from the truth. Since the late 1950s, the government, nutritionists, healthcare experts, doctors, and scientists have declared an all-out war on fat. Fat was the new enemy, and we were told to stay away from it. But what if I told you that this advice was based on just a few well-intentioned but completely misguided studies? So what's been the result of this demonization of fat? Well, just look around. We're fatter and sicker than ever before. Type 2 diabetes and obesity rates around the globe are skyrocketing. Even I had fat phobia. For years, I prescribed a low-fat diet to my patients and told them to eat healthier foods like whole wheat pasta and egg white omelets. And I ate the same diet thinking I was doing the right thing. But as new evidence emerged and my own health started to fail, I realized how wrong I was. So in my new book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, I've gone through the research, through the science, and the studies, and what I found is that fat can actually shut down cravings, speed up your metabolism, boost your energy, balance your hormones, and get this, fat can even reverse heart disease. No, I'm not talking about cheeseburgers, whipped cream, pizza, and cupcakes. I'm talking about the good stuff. Avocados and coconut oil, nuts and seeds, grass-fed meats, olive oil, eggs, whole eggs, even, yes, grass-fed butter. Yes, I said it. Butter is back and so are egg yolks. It's time for us to make a change, to reclaim our health and our kitchens and eat real food that makes us feel good and actually tastes good too. Oh my God, that is really good. Mm. In part one of Eat Fat, Get Thin, I dive deep into the research on fat and I show you how we got into this big fat mess. In part two, I tell you which foods and fats to eat and which ones to stay away from and I bust some of the biggest myths about fat. And in part three, I provide you with a detailed, step-by-step, 21-day -step, plan to get your health back on track, all while eating deeply satisfying, luscious and delicious foods. Thousands of people, including hundreds of my own patients, have successfully completed this program with incredible results. And now I want the same for you. I want you to wake up every morning feeling good, enjoying life, and what you're eating. I want you to wake up and give your highest gifts to the world. That is my promise with this program, Eat Fat, Get Thin. Together, we can take back our health.